We recently returned to the Good Stuff Eatery at 303 Pennsylvania Avenue. Check out our earlier podcast from Good Stuff when we visited on behalf of Food2.com. But today we came to chat with top chef Spike Mendelson about his new book, featuring recipes for his famous shakes, burgers, and fries. In a minute, we'll try some of his recipes, but let's first ask him some questions. First, we wanted to know, how do we impress our discerning foodie friends who don't go for run-of-the-mill burgers on the grill? If you had a friend come from out of town, I'd do a couple sliders, okay. different sliders. And uh, I would definitely do the smokehouse burger. Okay. Uh, it's got apple and smoked bacon, cheddar cheese, chipotle barbecue sauce, and fried Vidalia onion rings. Why that's a cool burger is because it's like really sweet, it's salty, it's smoky, and it's got a lot of texture in it okay. also. So it turns out to be a really, really delicious one. And I mean, we did win Rachel Ray's Burger Bash with that burger, so okay. it's a pretty popular one. Very cool. There's a couple burgers that are a little bit more intense. Right. You might need like a nice mozzarella cheese. Or you, know, you, you, you might need like an Asian ingredient like sriracha. Okay. But uh, for the most part, every, you know, if you can't find sriracha, use any other hot sauce. You know, okay. It's like it's really easy. There's really no rules to this burger. Okay. Okay, that's cool. But what do I cook for my two and a half year old? Keep the kids on the shake station. The shake station. Yes. All right. There's a lot of amazing shakes uh, okay. in the cookbook. A lot of different recipes, and I mean, kids love to blend things, and they love to, you know, taste ice cream and that kind of stuff. So, I mean, that's a little bit easier part for, for a young kid. Thanks, Spike. We enjoyed some of their famous burgers they had on hand, posed for a couple of pics, and then set off with high aspirations for making a kick-ass burger. Where are we going? The market. We are going to the market. We're gonna get lots of food for our burgers. Memorial Day weekend, I grabbed the kid and we hit our local grocery store. I grabbed some ground sirloin, fresh potato buns, and some ingredients for Spike's special sauces and toppings. Spike recommends getting all of your sauces and toppings completed ahead of time. I mix up some of his good stuff sauce, which combines mayonnaise, ketchup, molasses, vinegar, and salt. Now I'm going to make my own patties. Spike recommended ground sirloin. I hand knead that in a bowl with one egg and a healthy splash of Tabasco. I add a pinch of garlic salt and then hand form the patties, slider size. I then stick them in the fridge before I'm ready to grill. I also wanted to try the award-winning President Obama burger. To make the red onion marmalade, dissolve one cup of sugar and one cup of red wine vinegar on medium heat. Stir in some half-inch onions until they turn translucent, and then slide these onto the burger with crumpled blue cheese, bacon, and the horseradish mayonnaise. Now let's head to the grill. Before we get started, one of Spike's secret hints is to pre-cut wax paper before cooking. Wrap the burgers in the buns immediately after pulling them from the grill. This will gently draw out some of the flavor into the bun without making them soggy. If this isn't America on Memorial Day, I don't know what is. Spike also recommends lightly toasting and buttering the buns if you're at all serious about grilling these burgers. Alright, I've wrapped them up. Let's go join the fan. The burgers were a huge success. Some added bacon, cheese, and good stuff sauce. Others tried the Obama burger. One of the nice things about the Obama burger was that it was clearly a different taste than a standard bacon cheeseburger. It was unique, but pretty awesome. So if you know someone who's looking for something new, I definitely recommend that one. All right, burgers are devoured. Let's make some shakes. Good Stuff Eatery is famous for their super rich roast marshmallow shake, so we had to try that one. A lot of our marshmallows did not make it into the shake, and our testers originally balked at the tablespoon of sour cream, but it worked. The shakes we were able to make were quickly gulped and a new batch was demanded. I also tried out the mint Oreo shake. Overall, the evening was a big success. As a novice burger chef, I was able to follow the directions and make some new and unique tasting burgers and shakes. We will be coming back again and again to try out more recipes as I keep the fire going. Spike's Good Stuff Cookbook is in stores and available at Amazon.com right now. Check out our other podcasts and stay tuned for future trips to Good Stuff Eatery and the new We the Pizza Pizzeria opening soon.